What did I just see? You saw that too, right? Oh, yeah. Bro, I swear to God, I think that was a, a person. There were people out here in these woods watching us, following us, and they eventually showed up to our campsite with guns. Oh, shit. Wait, they got a light. They stopped at our campsite. What? Oh! Oh! Ah. Uh, All right. No, no, no. no. Gunshots, gunshots. Oh my God. What the? Dude. Fire, let's get out of here, dude. Seriously, let's get the fuck out of here. Full fire, let's get out of here. Oh, oh my. We just found this coach purse in the forest, it's completely burnt and destroyed. There's money from different countries in here. There's burnt pictures of someone's family in here. Oh, what the Why is this in the forest? Bro, what? Dude, look how they're like. Hey everybody, I'm just popping in real quick to tell you to be prepared for what you're about to watch. This is one of the craziest nights of our entire lives. Someone was out there watching us. Someone showed up to our campsite. Multiple people showed up to our campsite and they were armed. This was one of the scariest things that we have ever experienced and it all happened so quick. So just be prepared. A lot happens in a very short period of time. It starts off very abruptly and it just keeps on going from there. So yeah, uh, with that being said, I'm going to stop blabbering. Here's the footage. Hey, bro, are you sure that's a tree? There's no way. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. <laughs> an intro right now? Yeah. You hear that? Good time for an intro. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. There's actually something moving back there. Something sounds like a bell, too. Do you hear that? I thought that, you know, yeah, I was absolutely BS. Yeah. So I was already starting to think maybe something. Okay, so to make a long story short, I got an email from... Someone telling us to come to this area. Now, we've been doing these camping videos in all sorts of forests and woods. And I've been asking people, if you have any like local folklore tales, share them. Because if we were to come out and investigate, you know, I want to give you a big shout out. This one was completely anonymous. But there was a person who went missing, allegedly, back in the 80s. And now people claim that there's all sorts of paranormal activity here in regards to that person. Some people have even found things, allegedly, that belong to that person. Now... Since then, there's also been stories in regards to this woman that people see in the late hours of the night from like one o'clock in the morning to- well, Yo, you heard that too. We just looked at each other. What happened? We just had a moment. What the like f- Voice or something. That might have been a disembodied voice. That literally sounded like a person just said something. Ah. Uh, okay. Yo, I just saw something red in there. What? Oh, I just saw something red. Red? Like a jacket. I- Oh, Hello? Who's out there? Something really is moving out there. Yeah? Oh. I get it's the wind too, but I'm talking something on our level. Right. Got my camera. Yeah, yeah, start recording. Okay, um, listen. While we've been setting up our camp, we've been hearing the strangest things, obviously. So, we're just gonna get start filming. Yeah. If you guys are excited for this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Check out my friend Chris's channel as well because he will be having footage from this night that won't be shown here. If we can get home and edit it, yeah. Well, the problem is, too, while we were on the way here, we checked the forecast. This area is expected to get, what, 5 to 8 inches tonight? Yeah, tons. tons so, this might turn into, like, a survival type of camp. We brought supplies. We came prepared. Yeah, we got tons of food, tons of drinks, we tons can of grill, propane. water, all that. I got weenies for days. Worst of the worst, we get in the truck and we leave. Like, real talk, right? Like, yeah, we yeah, we got a truck right there. Yeah. Hey, we don't want to die. We just want to see how far we can make it. But what is all we doing? So, you said you saw something red. Yes. Like almost like a jacket? It, it looked like a jacket. And that sounded like someone was just, like, toying with us, right? Okay, so let me go get the rest of our equipment, and then we'll start going down there and checking it out. Okay. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button, and get ready, because I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a wild, wild day. Alright, guys. So, Chris actually went down in the area where we were hearing some strange noises and Ben claims that he saw something in like red, almost like a red jacket. Yo, Chad. What? Uh, something just flew down there, man. Wait, what? Oh, shit. You oh. hear that? Who's right there? 
Hold on, hold on, stop it. Let me see a flashlight. It's running. I hear it, I hear something, okay. something is running. Okay. So, what did you, what did you see? Uh, I, I don't know. Was it an animal or a person? Was it tall? It, it was too quick to see. It was definitely big, though. Here, hold it for just a second. Okay. Take hold of Holy. It was crazy. It's like we're on like a hill right now. Yeah. So whatever the hell is moving out there is like just trekking through yeah. everything. I'm going to fire spirit or fire up spirit talker as well. So okay. maybe we can get some responses to what is out here, what's going on. Should we maybe go down there and check? I, I kind of want to for some yeah. reason. I don't usually want to. On those nights, the boys are back together. Might as well. Feeling a little extra brave. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's going down there by himself. Maybe we. Yeah, have we some can. Bravery too. We have. Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Boy, is there anybody out here? I'm inspired by Chris. I'm keeping the truck on for a little bit. Wait, I was in the military. Huh. Okay. Our first response of the night. It's weird. Can you tell us what then this off in this area? He's shot. Uh Connie. 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 Ah, uh, the lights in the truck turned off. Oh, okay. Connie. Hey, Connie? Wait, the woman, bro. The woman in the dress. And if you saw red, what if yeah. you saw Connie in a red dress? I mean, it's just an idea, right? Yeah. Connie, um... We mean no harm. We come in peace, just here to spend the night. Okay, that's a tree. Okay, see, that's the thing about this, is it's really difficult to distinguish. Ben? That was something. That was a void. And it's not Chris, because Chris is all the way up there. Oh, I know. Connie, we hear you loud and clear. What are you trying to say, Connie? Hey, did you, uh, did you bring up the vehicle yet we saw? Remember? No, no. Okay, because we just got here. Yeah. We did the intro and just started filming right away because we saw everything. Uh-huh. Okay, so really strange. The roads here are so damn narrow. Like, I'm telling you, there's no room for two cars to be on it because it's like a narrow path and then ditches on the side. Just no way. And when we were coming in up the hill, there was a vehicle coming down. Now, I pulled over a little bit to the side to see if maybe there were a smaller car that they could fit. They came to a complete stop and then started flashing us with their, like, brights and we stopped for a second we're like okay so we flashed them back a little bit then they shut off their lights and started like revving their engine and we were like okay this is really weird so i started going in reverse but then they started going in reverse so i just put the car in park and i was like all right let, let's let them take the fucking reins and let's see what they want to do and they just kept going in reverse and joe. then eventually disappeared joe was it joe um but i just thought that was strange and since then, we haven't seen that vehicle. Now that we're experiencing what possibly could be people and voices, I'm kind of second guessing everything. Yeah. Yo, Connie, is there anything that you want to share? The Chris is so far up there. Oh, I know. I really hope. We've definitely, and it's a big hill. We'd have to go back through the trail. Oh, uh, what am I looking at? What did I just see? You saw that too, right? Oh, yeah. Bro, I swear to God, I think that was a, a person. I swear <gasps> on everything. That's not good. Joe? Connie? Were they trying to warn us? I don't know what's going on. Well, we know one thing's for sure. This is not private property. No, this is like state land. It's state land. So we are able to be here. We are able to... But now I'm just worried about everything from that email to like now. It's like... Seems sketchy. It's rubbing me the wrong way. Yeah, what Chris said earlier is starting to... Yeah, I mean, because Chris is kind of like the level-headed one here. We kind of just do shit. Yeah. And he's like, hey, guys. I just follow your lead. Don't you think this is kind of a bad idea? <laughs> is he flashing his light? You see that? Now, 
You gotta keep an eye out from over there, whoever the hell is. So, I, I want to compare our responses to what Chris got as well. Be interesting. Maybe Chris got. There are animal trails coming up, Jess. Yeah. Maybe that is what we saw. Maybe. What we just saw over there, though, is tall. Here? Did you say something? We did see something tall, yeah. Nancy. Nancy. So was it... Was it Nancy that we saw? I don't know. Maybe? Nancy, was that you? Nancy... Disagree. Oh, it wasn't Nancy. So what the hell was it then, Nancy? Nancy, if you could give us a sign to let us know where you're at, I would really... Ah, uh, why? What's that? I keep over there. Chris is all the way up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was that a voice? Or was that... It's so hard because it's so windy. windy. So yeah. You, you don't know if I'm jumping like... at everything right now. Yeah, yeah. Jumping at shadows, man. I'm jumping uh, at... I definitely saw... It, it looked like a person. Yes. It... Okay. I almost wish we had some confirmation that it was a person. Because I'll just be like, yo, let's just pack up and go. Maybe we could yeah. go to a different campsite or something. Right. But, like, I'm just kind of weary. Yeah, I'm a little weary, too. Okay. I think we should meet back up with Chris right now. And maybe kind of, like, tackle things together for a bit. Okay. Nancy... Connie, Joe, thank you for showing yourselves to us if you did and letting us know that you are here. I really do appreciate that. We weren't told the name of the, the, the woman who went missing in the 80s, allegedly, uh, so we don't really know. We tried to do some research on it online and there were just like little Reddit posts and stuff like that, but nothing like, no concrete like police report or nothing like that, so... I don't know, but... We are family. Connie, Nancy, Joe. We we're are family. family. Okay, well, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Nice to meet you, hopefully. And um, we're going to go back to our campsite, guys. And if there's anything that you want to share with us throughout the night, please come forward and do so. Really appreciate it. Um, and if there's anything you want to warn us about, too, please, please do so. Be nice. That was a branch break. Yeah. It goes right behind it. That's kind of how many, it's kind of weird how many branches are like broken on like ground level. Yeah. Like that one right there. I get there's like a storm coming and everything. And things like that. Oh, what is it? Sen what does this mean? Sentient, like, uh, okay, like me or you, we're sentient beings. Uh, it means that you have like capable of an understanding of like that you are a person and there's other people that exist. And okay, so I said, yada. I said, is there anything that you should warn us of? Is whatever, it sentient? Whatever we saw, maybe it's trying to say whatever we saw was sentient? A sen sure. But we saw a person, that would make sense. Yeah? Right, yeah, I mean, yeah, people yeah. are sentient, but... And we'll share some responses with each other and see if there's any sort of correlation. Ben and I were experiencing some really strange and scary things down that trail. Now, when we met back up with Chris, it just got a whole lot crazier, a whole lot scarier, and I can't wait to show you guys that. Before I do show you that footage, I wanna give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you could pick a different designer fragrance each month for only $17 a month. Scentbird has over 600 fragrances available from Gucci, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, and so much more. Some of these fragrances can get expensive. We're talking in the hundreds of dollars. And the great thing about Scentbird is you could try these high-end fragrances for only $17 a month. You can't beat that. You guys might be wondering exactly how much do they give you in each fragrance. Well, honestly, it's a very generous amount. So they come in these pouches right here and this is what the fragrance looks. You could lock it and unlock it right there. Now if you just pop it right down the middle, you can see the fragrance right there and it's a very generous amount. You guys might be wondering, Jazz, what two fragrances did you pick for the month? Well, the first one was Cartier Declaration. This is a fragrance that I've wanted to try for a very long time. I saw it on the site and I was like, 
I'm gonna make it happen. Each fragrance comes with one of these info cards. It shows you the fragrance right there and on the back, it talks all things ingredients and it gives you a little description of the fragrance as well. So for example, this one, bright dry cedar and taut juniper berry are set against the warmth of spicy sardamom and oak moss in the sophisticated cologne. It's awesome. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And this keeps me smelling fresh for a very long time. The second fragrance of the month that I picked was Versace Bright Crystal. Now this actually isn't for me. It's for my girlfriend. It's one that she's been wanting to try for a while. And thanks to Scentbird, we can make that happen. So on the back of this one, it says bright crystals, frosted pomegranate and yuzu fruit fade into a wide eye, floral heart of peony, lotus and magnolia. Sweet traces of amber woods and musk add bright touches of warmth in the dry down. She absolutely loves this and she actually is going to be purchasing a full bottle of it. And hey, she would have never known that it was that good if it wasn't for Sembird. Now all that sounds good, but what if I told you that if you use my code YASCO55OFF and click that link down in the description below, you could save yourself 55% off your first month with Sembird. That's about $8 a month for a designer fragrance of your choice. You can't beat that anywhere. What are you guys waiting for? Click that link down below. Use my code Yasco 55 off and save yourself some money and get yourself smelling good. Thank you so much Semperd for sponsoring today's video. And with all that being said, let's get back to the craziness when I met back up with Chris and we exchanged some of the things that we both experienced. Hey Chris. Mm. Our tents aren't doing too hot. Our tents aren't doing too hot. Yo, did you hear anything coming down there? We went down the hill. We were way, way too much. And I was hearing wait, voices. Wait. We both saw what looked like Little a perp. Where? Little girl around you. Is that what you saw? We saw a so person. We saw, saw a person. Move and it said mist, right? When I saw something move. Can I see your responses? Yeah. I was talking about that on my camera because a lot of these big creators never show their spirit talkers because they BS all this. Right. We're legit, right? I mean, I'm not scared to show you guys. Like All the answers we're getting are all... Can I see them? Yeah. So, portal. I'm hiding. Settlement, baby. It just said, come find my grave, and then it said barn when I asked where it was. Do you know where there's a barn foundation? Because I looked. I looked everywhere. I could not find it. The problem is there's snow. There might yeah. actually be remnants Foundations of or something. There could we be, might yeah. come back here when the snow's gone. So that will solve the mystery. If she's buried by a barn, then we know that she's actually here. And the crazy thing is, I got two different female names, okay. Connie and Nancy. I got Ava. And um, so we're, huh. we're getting responses. A little girl around you as well. Oh, it's tricky, but that's not, that's not a shame. It's hard to hear some of the shit because the trees are kind of uh, yeah, I'm not sure loud. Yeah, much harder to hear you say it's all of this. Uh, obviously not all of this. I don't know, like probably trees moving or something else, but, but no. I thought I saw a light in your truck too when I got all the way down. Wait, what? Feathers. A light? Yeah, I thought I saw a light. It wasn't the fire. That's why I guess part of the reason I started walking back. It looked like there was something in your truck. But you guys, I can see your guys' lights down there. Yeah, we can see you. Out a little bit. Yeah, we saw you as well the entire time, so we were like... Okay, now, what started, we weren't going to film for a bit. Yeah. But right when I started filming... Amy. Amy? Amy. Ben saw what looked like a person. That's why we went towards it. Oh, that makes sense. I keep hearing, I've, I've heard multiple voices. It sounds like a woman. Like either, I've heard it sound like a voice and then it sounds like a scream, like a woman's voice at the top of that hill. Yo, that's what Which we heard too down there. So yeah. I really think, you smell that? That smells burning. Is it my light? It is. Oh it? shit. Yo, you burnt your jacket, brother. Did I? Is that what I'm smelling? Yeah, well, I hear. Are they gonna fall? If they do, crazy? uh, we should probably get out of this area. Yeah, we probably right. start moving this way, actually. I just wanted to, I, I think it's good that we like went out right away. Yeah. Because you don't want to get too worked up and you don't want to leave your tables. Yeah. He <laughs> might do. <laughs> yeah, I can't be here tonight. It might not be feasible well, because of the weather. So what? I was also, I was also meant to marry Wait, you said barn? Yes. There's hay here. Wait, Ooh. what? Ooh. What? What? Yeah. The hell? Shut up. I don't remember. I didn't even notice this I didn't earlier. I mean, it has snow yeah, on it. Or That's weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hella, what, the the, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Yeah, that is that is very weird. That's very strange. You guys saw my spirit box. I didn't know this was here. I walked that way. You can see my. No, it was on it your. Come it's, back again. Oh. 
It's like someone perfectly just planted that there for us. Like, hey, there actually is a bar and here's some hay. So where's but the... why would it be here? It just I got that too earlier. So I'm about hiding. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Our tents got fucked. It's all good. I'm Can you give us a hint to let us know where you're hiding? We might be smarter to take our tents down. Maybe. we actually sleep. Or we could sleep in the truck. Yeah, yeah. I leave on my truck. yeah, I think our tents are first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a picture, she's coming. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll move the light. It's fine. And it's scary because it's always talking about a woman. Yes. Okay. Take one from this area. I'm going to put these on screen for you guys. So if anything does show up in these photos. I'm not gonna be able to see this until post edit, anyways. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that freaked me the hell out. That was okay. Let's um regroup for a bit. Yeah. Let's uh. So the... I was looking at that earlier, Jazz. Uh, you know, I've watched a lot of nature documentaries, and I have some ideas on what that is. Like a bear. Let's. Uh, my heart just dropped when you said that. So let's not fucking. Let's just look at each other and wink and be like, we know, we're, we know what that aren't is, they, right? Aren't they hibernating right now? It's... <laughs> we're hoping! <laughs> it's spring right now, guys! <laughs> it's supposed to be spring. I mean, not that that doesn't happen. It's just... It was a weird winter to have. It really was. Well, alright, guys. We're going to regroup for a sec. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes once we fix this situation. And kind of fix our mental. So, yeah. see you in a minute. All right, guys. Um, so we're actually gonna be putting the tents away right now. It, it's getting real bad out here. I don't even know if we'll be able to use these for the night. It just doesn't seem too feasible, especially with the high winds that we're gonna get. Maybe it would just be a best idea to stay in the truck overnight. Uh, we're not exactly sure yet, but for, at least for the time being, we're gonna put it back. And if it kind of eases up, you know, we'll bring it back out. So um, I will say, so far, pretty damn insane night. That's the crazy part. I thought be happening like that. What was that? I thought that I thought that was kind of BS, yes, like coming up here. Like, there's no information about a missing girl out here, but this stuff is interesting. It, it is, and it's it's the it's the what if factor. Yeah. It's like what if it is real? Yeah. So that's the scariest part of all, but you know, after getting these like woman names on the spear box and then at the same time like potentially seeing whatever the hell we did see it, it scares the hell out of me i'm not gonna lie so whew. um well we're gonna pack some of this up i'm gonna keep the fire out probably gonna warm up a little that. bit yeah yeah uh probably gonna warm up a little bit and then uh we'll head down either that road or that road or maybe we'll go down there together so stay tuned guys if you haven't already smash that like button really appreciate it and we'll See you guys in a bit. So maybe we should bring multiple cameras, walkie-talkies. Yeah. If in case we split up or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we're currently driving in this forest, trying to find a place to set up our camp. Now, I kind of wanted to chime in a little bit about some of the information that was shared with us in regards to the history here, some of the things that have happened here. And while we're on the road, Chris decided to do some, you know, like research about it. Did you find anything? Not really, man. Like, there's a lot of, there's some folklore about, like, the area we're in. You know, people say that you will see things, you know, you'll you'll hear, you know, people's voices and people talking in the woods. Nobody's there. All the, it's the usual ghost stories. So, I don't know. I, I don't think there's a lot to it. I think it's just a lot of hearsay. Truthfully. Yeah, it's usually how it is, though. It's, it's always alleged until you kind of, like, come to your own, you know, experience or whatever yeah because yeah, there's people who will come here and have nothing happen they'll literally have the most peaceful night and that could be what happens to us truthfully truthfully yeah, we yeah. could have nothing happen no it's a sure. normal night for sure i mean the night is young uh we figured we give this a shot it looks very you know good right now not, not too, too much crazy snow out anything. there but hey you, you never know so i'm thinking what should we look for like flat areas or we probably want to find anything? somewhere that we could 
trails. Let's put our tents up, right? If we're going to try to actually sleep in our tents, I mean. I was going to say we could try to. We could always stay the night in here, too, if need be. Yeah. Um, not but, as comfortable, but. Yeah, some of the stuff that was shared with us, though, kind of freaked me out a bit. So, obviously, there's this person that went missing in the 80s, right? Now, What was that? Did you heard it too, right? Yeah. Okay, it, it sounded like... Maybe I'm just chirping. No, so there's something. I don't know if it was kind of like a high pitch. I don't know. I don't want to say it was a scream, but it was some kind of high pitch noise. I don't know. But things like that kind of creep me out because, like, obviously, it's it's been, what, over 40 years since this person went missing. And... Then there's also the full quote of people say like, hey, they see this woman, right? That in between the hours of like one and four and they see her and, you know, I don't know what happens when these people see her, but obviously it freaks yeah. them enough to get the hell up out of there, right? But it also brings up some attention like, is this person that they see potentially the person who went missing in the 80s? Yeah, you wonder. Makes no, you, you wonder, don't know. you know? And I wonder too, like if people come here Close-minded, like there's this stuff's not real, and they're not gonna ever like. There's no way that ha like there's no way there's a woman here. Are they actually just not gonna experience it because they don't open their minds up to it? Where we do this so much, and we're so used to having activity happen around us that we're more likely to have stuff happen. More vulnerable, more like, like not just here, but anywhere we go, you know. No, it's a good idea because people it's don't a, believe until they have an experience. They come in here like, oh no, I'm not scared. It's the right. woods, it's the right. forest. Well, no, I, I really say it like all the time, like. People could make a lot of assumptions and comments from back home, but it's a different world when you're out here. I mean, just look straight ahead. It's horrifying. I don't even want to get out of the car right now. No, because it's not like there's a neighborhood or community anywhere nearby. Like, this is just trees, trees, forest, animals, the unknown. It's all the unknown. That's what I'm always the most scared of. Yeah. It's always the scariest part, but I don't know. I kind of want to hear your opinions, right? So... Based on the little bit of information that was given to us, and obviously with the email being as how do I say, suspicious, as it was. Yeah, very like, suspicious. And do you think that maybe tonight we will encounter this person, this woman, you know, at these late hours? or I just feel like we'd have more info on what is supposed to be here. It's so all over the place. Well, that's the thing with, like, local folklore. And I guess it's just what you believe in, what the city nearby, you know, believes in, what, what stories are shared. And this seems to be one of them. It's just strange because usually with the stories that we do go on and investigate to, like the forest that we go to, and, you know, we're usually given, like, a crazy personal experience or something. This one was just a very vague, here's the location, you should do it. And, you know, Chris came home, and we were just like, let's do it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I was at least try. I, I, yeah. yeah, we want to go to new places. We want to see new things. I'm not opposed to... Did you see something? Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Okay, I'm gonna drive forward a little bit. We gotta remember too, like we need to be reasonable here because we are in a forest we've never been to. People probably will come through. Like there's tire marks. Someone drove through here today at some point. Okay. We might experience people. We just gotta remember that. Like we well, could. There's a tire right here. That's the right? <laughs> Just a random tire. I was Dude, gonna say, I thought right I now? saw someone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's some good tread on there. I want a marketplace. <laughs> it's like 6:30 seconds. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah. But no, I really thought I saw something or someone over here. Just keep I mean, your eyes peeled. Not. Yeah, no, for sure. Just keep your eyes peeled. Look around. <sighs> and we're kind of like in a part of... What was that? What did you see? No, no, sorry. There was a no trespassing sign. What was that? Wait. It's odd. Car is detecting something to the right, right there. It's a bit weird. And that usually means that there's like something right in front. Hold on, let me see something. I'm gonna move forward just so we're not like right in front of the ditch, really quick. Yeah, don't wanna get stuck out here. Look. <laughs> That's odd. Because there's a ditch on this left side. I'm, I'm yeah, closer to the one on the left. Yeah, it's just detecting the right side. Hold on. So, 
Sensor's right there, so it can't be that, but one thing I do want to check is this. So peaceful. It's an old no trespassing sign, but we do know that this is like state lands. Shouldn't be too worried, but hmm. Okay, so no trespassing sign over here, so I guess we can't camp the thing is, this is state lands, which is weird. Well, that's we're on the edge of it. Maybe someone owns property or something. Maybe like near some property. Yeah. We gotta just be smart tonight too. I mean, we gotta remember we're in a part of the, I'm just gonna say the east, where there are known to be some large critters that are a little bit bigger than what we have back at our yeah. homeland. That's a scary thing too. And I mean, <sighs> it is cold out. I doubt, I mean, unless they're hungry. Chris, stop it. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> we should be okay. Oh, shit. Well, all right, guys, we'll go try to find a place to set up our campsite, and then we'll see in a little bit. Peace. All right. It's coming to that point again. The weather's picking up as well. Ben's pregnant. <laughs> sorry, what? guys. <laughs> what do you mean, sorry? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, you know, like, I'm locked up, guys. It's over. I'm pregnant. <laughs> sorry, ladies. Sorry. 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 No, but I think um, the snow's coming down. And they said what five to eight inches tonight. So like they literally called for this. So this is good. It's what we wanted. We need to go cover some more ground. Well, we can still feel our hands. Our hands are kind of cold. But what do you think? You guys gonna be okay? Well, I was gonna say. So earlier in the night, Ben saw a couple things from this direction. Yes. Now also. It's not even windy right now. That almost sounded like a voice from over here. Literally sounded like people. It does. You want to check it out, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> right. L let's not be too far. I'd say maybe within like seven miles. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on my phone. I think... <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? Two miles? Within seven miles. Dude, no. Seven I'm, miles? I'm going to be near the truck. I'm going to go down that way and just look around. 20 minutes tops. Like, you, I might be back here before you. I'm a little cold. Okay. I might get in the truck. I might call for you. I don't know, but... We should cover some ground, meet up, we can keep seeing if we find anything. I'm down. Right? Let's do it. Let's not be too far away, because that, you just don't know what could happen out here. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. You are right. I'm still always thinking back to that email, and I'm like, yeah. I'm... <laughs> yeah, weird. Strange things could happen. My camera also isn't supposed to be out in the snow, but we're going to see how long I make it. So. All right, well, good luck, bro. I'm going to go check guys. out what those voices were. Yeah, let me know what you hear. Oh, yeah. This is great. This, this is, is a good idea. Yeah. I like Necrometer. Necrometer yeah, is a good one. It's a little bit fast, so I do question it sometimes, but we'll see. We'll see. Question everything. You now, people are always like my FBI yeah. agent, like in your phone. Yeah. Like my spirit talker agent. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I avoid the IRS agent. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> Who am I? You have a flashlight, right? Yeah. Here, you want it? Yes. Okay. So, earlier, you said you saw something from this direction, correct? Uh, I'm yes, thinking, I did. I'm thinking, oh, well, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's I'm still kind of like, I can't believe we heard voices after the night we've had so far. Um, well, not even, like, like, oh, there's the wind. I mean, we got almost a full moon tonight. It's kind of illuminating a lot here. Those clouds are moving quick. Quick, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there's the trees. Yeah, right, damn so trees. So scared. Wait, 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 wait. They take other forms. So like shapeshifters. Okay. And if we saw what looked like numerous different things earlier, uh, just like something to keep in one. mind. What? Hello? I can't remember we're here. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's not really a trail, but we could check it out. I guess. Okay. Make our own trail. Who's out here? Is this maybe? Wait, you hear that? Yeah, I do. What the f is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like someone coughing or something. Coughing? Yeah, yeah. Like someone to clear in their throat almost. Marie. Um. Marie, you all right? Oh. You need an alcohol seltzer? 
Taylor. Freaking out right now. Just make sure that we're good on like every. Wait, is that a light I saw down there? Yeah. Uh, wait, where's Chris? Wait, no. Wait, where's Chris? There's Chris is down there. Okay. He's in this direction. I see him. I saw a light from over here. Okay, maybe I'm just tweaking it. Sorry. I, I'm jumping at shadows, guys. I'm. Yeah. It's. I know people back home are probably like, oh, look at these pussies jumping at shadows. Hmm. But like, guys, it's so much different when you're here. I promise you, it, it, it's a whole different world. Like, I mean, you guys saw it earlier with the fucking marks on the tree. Yeah, bro, like, yeah, like, really it could, could be that. Could be. It could be something paranormal. It could be something. It could be, it could be an actual person. I doubt it, a person, but we keep on seeing people. What the f? What? Oh, I see it. Whoa. Uh, what? Hold on, stay right there. Is it? Stay right there. Okay. There are no footprints anywhere here. There's at all. There's no footprints. There's a bag in the tree. Bro, I'm telling you, there's not a single How? footprint in this the, area. A bag? It's a bag. What's a bag doing here? It's mad high up, too. Oh, shit. I think it broke. I mean, it looks like it's frozen. It is. Bro, this is a coach bag. Uh, like probably a couple hundred dollar bag. Like a real coach? Genuine? Um, it, oh, shit. Here. Well, uh, take a look at it. But wait, come here for a sec. Just like, look, bro. No footprints anywhere. So this had to have been here. How long? This is like frozen. Look at that. It's like frozen in shape. But bro, look at this. It's like, oh, wow. Fucked up, burnt, dirty. Something, or like maybe like rotted just from being there for so long. Or maybe it is burnt. It looks burnt. Look at that. Or like it has rust in its house or something. On. So I noticed this is in decent condition. Apart from... Oh, bro, there's money in there. What? There's cash in there. I don't like this. Okay. Should we even touch it? Should we even touch it as I just ripped it off the fucking tree branch? I mean... Name is Charles. My name is Charles. Uh... Wait. Do you have something to do with this? Okay, it looks clean on the outside, right? That's why I was like, wow, this is really nice. Does Look at it from the top. Well, bro, what? Yo, it looks aged, or is it? No, I'm no it's, it's burnt. It's burnt. That's burnt bad. That, that, was one thing. The that is not cursed. I'm going to leave this flashlight on. Just to uh, make sure. Ten bucks? Wait, what is this? What? Wait, what? Look at this. <gasps> the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Yo, how did they get burned? Guys, okay, anyone that? that's been to Hong Kong, can you let me know if this is, like, the real currency? This Wait. is from 1989, January. Yeah, maybe it's fake. <sighs> okay, so there's that. There's more stuff in here. Bro. There's just a bunch of money. Young. Wait, there's some American. These aren't burnt. What is this? Oh. Banco Central Venezuela. Five dollars from Venezuela. Is anyone from Venezuela can confirm if this is real? I I you know what makes me think it's real, Ben? Cinco. That, that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that is. It doesn't match up with Cinco. But no, this, this is real. This is this is a real five dollar bill. So, is this person like a trail? There's more stuff in here too, bro. But my question is like, what? First off, what happened? Yo. Two. Hold on. 
Yeah, what is that? So there's something like coming towards us. From where? I hear it. Where Charles, is that? is that you? Composure, composure, composure. I haven't seen Chris's light in a while. Oh wait, he's way down there now. Is he? Yeah. Yo, Ben, look at this. The hell? You ever seen one of these before? Yeah. It's a classic. No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay. We got. Hey, what a name! Look like at that. this name, bro. Engelbert Humperdinck. The That's a fire name. That's a name, bro. Anything else for you, Mr. Humperdinck? Oh, summer serenades. What we got in here? We got lovely way to spend an evening as time goes by. Getting sentimental over you, you know. True. The vibes. The vibes, really? No, no, I'm just saying the... Oh, <laughs> the next song is called Vibe Check. Uh, <laughs> written in 1987, yeah. Vibe Check. Is his name Birdie? Yeah, Riz. Yeah, Rizzed Up. Angle Bird. Rizzed Hump, Up For You. Humperdinck. That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Rizzed Up For You would be a fire <laughs> song at like that age. Okay, no, seriously. What is going on here? Oh, yeah, you said... Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Fucked, yeah, like... Look at that. That's so old, too. Like, to the point where, like... Yeah. Okay, um... Oh, no. What? I... Don't like this. Yeah. There's a picture of... Kids. Here. Here. Yeah. Picture of what looks like someone's family, bro. Look at this. And this is burnt as well. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's burnt. Bro, what? Dude, look how they're like positioned from like tallest to shortest. Oh, they are, you're right. That's an old photo. Maybe if that spirit talker said I'm in my fifties. Fifties, yeah, you're right, bro. You, Marianne. you. Marianne is a fucking name from like that time. Wait, oh. wait, Chris. Chris. Yeah. Okay, you all right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, freaked me out for a second, dude. I'm I'm tripping right now. It's been a weird night. But bro, the stories about this place, and then this. Okay, I said quiet. Okay. Oh, Marianne, is that you? Marianne, is that you? Marianne. Something's on my head right now. This is on my head. I need Chris's opinion on this too. Like, maybe there's something more in there too. I don't know. Parts of it are super burnt. Um, that's hard to get in there. Wait, maybe we can grab it. Dude, why was it just hanging on the tree? And like, so it must have been there for a bit. Unless maybe they had like a snowstorm here in a while. I mean, it's been. Bro, our tent's been blowing around. I'm not... You're right. It's possible it blew into a tree. The bag's open. It can help it pick up the air. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Do you know what happened to the strap? The blue strap? It oh, was, was it hanging from the tree? Ben, it just said it's not human. Spearbug just said it's not human. And earlier it said shapeshifter. It takes other forms. Yeah. What, what is it? Can you clarify a little bit what you meant by that? Let, let's let's go back. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris is by the truck. I hear him talking. A spirit isn't human either, so it could be like, bro. I'm I'm saying though, this is like a nice bag. Yeah. Like I'm t when I saw this, I was like, bro, that's got to be a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Like it's crazy how nice condition it is. There was Until. so much snow on it too, so it had to have been there for a bit. Maybe like, you're right. Maybe it blew in the wind or something. Off some like the wind was like Kobe. 
Uh, yeah. And it got stuck with it. It could, it, it's a possibility. Or I was thinking logically because I was like, okay, there's no footsteps or footprints in the snow that someone placed it up there, but that would explain where the f are the prints. You Where's the ladder? Yeah, it was pretty high up. <laughs> I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but like. Like, yeah, Shaq came out here and put a purse in the tree. It's like, it doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense, bro. At all. At all. <sighs> Remember earlier I said I saw some like sort of light down here too? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Chris if he experienced anything. Hey, Chris. Oh, he's down the trail. Oh, okay. I saw a light at the truck. That's why I was like, what? Is he running? Chris! Chris, what happened? He said something was running at him. Uh. What? Oh, hell no. Bro, what the hell is that? Where did you find that? It was hanging on a tree, had to have been like nine feet up, no footprints anywhere near there. So either one, off some crazy wind luck, it swung and got stuck up there. Come here, we'll use, put it on my truck. It gets weirder and weirder. Oh. Good question. So I saw it like this and I was like, bro, that's a couple hundred dollar purse. Right, coach bag? Oh, yeah. Cool. Bro, bro, when I knocked it off the tree, look at this. What is that? Look how burnt and f***ed up it oh, is. It's burnt, but there's like stuff inside of it. We got a Engelbert Humperdick oh, no. cassette. I don't know if you can see um, <laughs> I'm gonna save this part for last. There was cash. Actual money. Okay. Here's the crazy part. U.S. dollars. Yeah. Five Venezuelan dollars. What? Ten. Hong Kong dollars. And then, it makes it even creepier. What's that? Newspaper? Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell? It's a picture of like a family or something. And when me and Ben That's opened so this up, yeah, the spear like box said Mary Ann. Did it really? So it's had a name, so I recognized somebody. Could that be the. That's gotta be newer than what the story says, though, right? This purse cannot be that old. I don't know, unless there, if there, if you someone out there knows anything about these types of purses, I want to double check and see if there's anything more in here. Like that purse could be like from like early 2000s. Because look at that. That could be from 80s. And the pictures yeah, are from like up. the 50s. But why just the inside? That's all burnt. That's so odd. It was hanging by this, and yeah. like even that's messed up. But this was like frozen when I knocked it over. This was like frozen weird shapes frozen and stuff. so it had to have been there for a while. That's so weird, man. I just found a lot of tires. I didn't really find a lot of like actual things. You guys were already down there earlier, but there were a lot of tires. Weird stuff. Really weird noises. My light started tripping out. I just got Really? I don't know. I got really uncomfortable. We heard like voices at one point, then we saw a light coming from down. Then we saw a light coming from down that road. Really? And um you heard that? The trees are loud. But there was something that, before the trees, there was something. Like, what do we even do with this, bro? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Leave some comments if you could about what we should do with the bag. That's a good point. I don't know. Like, do you. Can you guys let us know also if this is like real Venezuela currency and real Hong Kong currency? Yeah. If you want to do it like a little close up. Here. Yeah, go ahead, man. That's so interesting. This is as well. So this one's from 1963. Wow. And then five American dollars. Uh, Get us like a couple of Arizona ice or something. Yeah, we could go sit in the truck for a little bit, probably. I, to just some equipment I, I, don't know. I got the generator in the truck, so. I've already gone through three batteries. I don't know. It's weird. It's cold. It is really cold, but too bad. I don't know. However, I brought they're all gone. So um, I don't know. I heard weird noises. I had a lot of weird stuff happen, but 
I feel like there's more to explore. Like this is such a big forest. But no, there, there's so much. Going that way, we haven't really gone up that hill. Yeah, like you said last earlier too. Like coming back during the day a little bit and seeing kind yeah. of. The lay of the land. So. My only fear is like if we do get stuck here during the snowstorm that's coming tonight. True. We're fucked. Uh, obviously, we're we're okay. We got the trusty four wheel okay. drive. Yeah. That's not a Honda Civic. Not, not anymore, baby. <laughs> not anymore. She's transformed. Four by four. Yeah, I'm gonna go warm my hands up first. Cause yeah, we're gonna warm up and uh, open up to me. I think I have a battery bank on my backpack, so my camera should be fine. But uh, uh, I don't know if you guys think of this so far. What that was it? weird. It, it, it says something. It said "open up to me," and there's <laughs> nothing there. It's not there. even on. <laughs> that was really so fucking strange. weird. This whole night is going on this way. Okay. Huh. Um. I hope that thing gets me for the rest of the night because I don't have one of those crazy stuff to take. Yeah, bro. Let's go together. You heard that too. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. What I happened? Was a clear woman's voice or scream or something. There was. was a woman's voice. Not a doubt. And I really think. That's fucked because it was right in the middle of your. Hold on, hold on, you're good, you're good. From the direction you just came from, no? You know that feeling like like literally like when I see you running away from somebody? It felt like that, but somebody was running at me when I was up there. I literally ran away because I was so scared. What is that? Hello? You have the flashlight? No. You know what's really weird? Because we were hearing voices from that direction. Yeah. And that's the direction where we found this damn purse. That's really weird. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go warm up in the truck, probably. Down? Probably. Okay, and we'll come back out here in a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a little sentimental for a second um, before we continue. I just really want to say thank you guys for all the support lately. You guys have been crushing it like normal. You guys have just, week in, week out, you have been absolutely crushing it. Uh, for those who don't know, I've been dealing with some health issues lately. I'm gonna have to go into a procedure soon and a whole bunch of stuff. And because of all the labs and tests and stuff, I've really slowed down on my uploads, my videos. Most of the videos you see me do are like reaction videos on the channel just because like I could do them from home. And the videos that, that weren't from home or like older videos so i really just want to say thank you very much for everyone who's just very understanding during this time videos will be kind of slow. i really shouldn't have even came out tonight because <laughs> i gotta go in later tomorrow and i asked you i was like dude we can do this another time you were like, no, yeah, earlier in the week too you were like i probably won't do anything this week i was like the and boys are like home. oh let's go <laughs> I was like, the boys are home i'm gonna try um so if it's not a super long video sorry that's probably why but at least the ghosts are pointing out tonight that's good dude. i feel okay so i'm gonna keep yeah. pushing it but after Our yeah. sentimental side, over. Um, I love you guys. We gotta figure some things out real quick. This next clip is going to start very abruptly. So we were kind of just gathering ourselves after everything that we just experienced. And now keep in mind, we haven't even been here that long, but what you're about to see is us start running in a frenzy because of what we just experienced. Now the footage starts very abruptly, but it, it gets bad because people show up to our campsite from the right side and also from the left side. Now, it went in probably the worst way possible. So I just want to give you guys a fair warning to just prepare yourself because nothing could have prepared us for what we were about to experience. Okay, okay. I think it was that thing we saw earlier. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, be careful, be careful. Guys, something's coming. What? Something's coming. Huh. I hear something. Like a vehicle or something. What if it's that same vehicle from earlier? Hold on. Listen, oh, listen. I hear it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Wait, is that a car? There's someone approaching our campsite right now. Yeah, I see it. 
Wait, what? What? Shit. Oh, There's someone at our campsite right now. They're shining lights around. I don't know if they're looking for something or... Are they still something at the campsite? Here. Something out here, guys. I know I saw something too, bro. Wait, Chris, Chris, from behind you. Get down, get down, get down. Fuck. Oh shit. Wait, then who is that over there? Yeah, who is that from the other angle? I don't know, there's more than one. What? Stay down. Stay down. Dude, they're driving really slow. Wait, they got a light. They stopped at our campsite. What? Oh! Took off? Wait, what's going Why on? Why did they stop at the campsite? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm okay. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my lighting. Is anyone up there? No. Is anybody here? Okay, wait, hold on. We gotta talk about something for a second. If they came from that way, what was that? Was someone came from that way and was like, walking around our campsite with flashlights, huh? did they pick them up? They might have. Maybe they're actually watching them. I don't see anything either. Yeah, that was a little strange. Because here's the thing. If someone's out here with doing like a little campfire campsite thing, why would you show up with lights outside of your windows, like pointing them and stuff? Doesn't make any sense. Like they, they were just like shining, like I don't know if they were going to try to take some stuff. They pointed the lights at us. It was really weird. I just had a weird feeling. I'm just curious about what we saw initially, because there, there was noises and people from both before directions. Came, yeah, right? before they came. I saw a light moving around, without a doubt. <sighs> like, I'm almost nervous to go down there now. I just don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. No, no, no. no. Gunshot. It's gunshot. Oh, oh my God. Yo, what yo, the? Dude. Fire. Let's get out of here, dude. Seriously, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, fire. Let's get out of here. Oh, my God. I'm just packing anything out there. Huh. Yo, I hear, I hear something coming. Someone's coming. Fuck. Do we gotta go back down there? Back where? Down Don't the leave hill? That. I'll come back for tomorrow or something. Please. This isn't okay. Ah, fuck. Hey, up. Hurry, hurry. Go, go, Turn go. Get in the truck. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
They, they were trying to scare us. Okay, why? They were trying to scare why? us. Why? I don't know they're shooting at us, but they were definitely trying to scare us. I could say that with 100% certainty. I'm trying to cover up. Be careful. I'm going to like blow over down here. I want to get somewhere safe right now. I have to figure out how to get out of here first and then... Yeah. You want me to record? I, I don't think it's smart to be in a forest with gunfire and random vehicles, people we don't know. Bears? There should not be anybody out there. That's the weirdest thing about all of this. I, I was trying initially to not make any assumptions and be like, oh, this, this is somebody out here stalking or whatever. But brother, I've, I'm glad. I want my gut feeling I was getting ready to leave. But those gunshots were like... That's that was it. That's a sign of need. Like, just get out of there if we don't want to. We can go somewhere else. We can, we can film somewhere tomorrow. It's not worth our lives. Like, it it's, it's not. Like, what if they came back and tried to do something to us? Has that ever happened before? No. Could it? Yeah. I think could. it could. It's just, like, it would happen to someone like us. We do all this shit so much, so much. Well, I just think back to that anonymous email. The email, yeah, no, you're right. The email, like, they kind of... It was anonymous, you know, yeah. Out the stuff is going to happen if you look around here. It's me, it's me. It's me, too. I'm uncomfortable with the idea of gunfire at nighttime. If it was daytime, I'd be like, okay, maybe they're shooting in the daytime. I understand, but... Yeah, you shouldn't night. You don't know anything. But after, after what we just experienced, that, no. Like, I know we probably got, like, 20, 30 minutes to, like, town or hotel, but we should probably just drive that way and worry about that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, call people. it a day. Park around back or something just yeah, to be 100% safe. It's literally a time. Yeah, Bro, after finding the stuff that we found, experienced the things that we did, yeah. I don't want to take any more chances. No. I just want to get out of here. No. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, after what you just watched, we left. And, you know, we stayed the night in a motel and... Honestly, to this day, I have no idea what those people were doing in the woods. You know, looking back at it, why did they show up from two separate directions? Uh, why did they set off 10, 15 gunshot rounds? Were they trying to scare us? You know, what would have happened if we stayed any longer? Would have they come back? I don't know. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, do you think that maybe they were involved with the whole purse thing? You know, do they have any correlation to that? I have no idea. And you know what? I'm glad we left so we don't have to know what would have happened or anything of the sort. But all I know is there's some really weird shit going on out there. And there were red flags from the start. And listen, if you guys are ever going to yell at me for a video, let it be this one. You know, this was just a bad call on my behalf for starters the email was just that was a red flag in itself then we get the weather and obviously we would have had to stay the night in the truck more than likely um but after all of that we experienced that and that was kind of like the final final straw and we got the hell up out of there so yeah if you're ever gonna yell at me for something please let it be this one you know, just let it loose in the comment section. <laughs> I won't take it personally. I probably deserve it. So, yeah. Um, I really pushed myself out there that night. Obviously, I'm going through a whole lot of things. I actually have some more scans to do tomorrow and then the operation and whatever. But I um, think I learned my lesson. I think I learned my lesson. So, listen, I'm going to probably take it a lot easier from here on out. And uh, if we ever do go camping again in the next couple weeks or... So I'll probably go a place a little bit more mild because that was just insane. I, I don't plan on going back there. No amount of likes or anything like that would amount to me going back to where we just were. So with all that being said, yeah, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure to go check out my friends. Their links will be down in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video with the boys. Uh, Chris is now home, so we'll be doing a ton more videos together. And uh, yeah. Uh, See you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I want to give a big shout out to Sembird for sponsoring today's video.